Hey there, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to learn some words that might help you improve your English vocabulary and fluency. Before you start, please hit the like button if you enjoy our content and subscribe to this channel if you're learning English. Stay up to the very end of this video and you'll learn a fun fact about the English language. Let's begin. The word reflex, spelled R-E-F-L-E-X, it's a noun pronounced reflex. It means an automatic response to a stimulus. For example, the doctor tested my knee reflex. So in summary, a reflex is an automatic response to something. The word rehabilitation, spelled R-E-H-A-B-I-L-I-T-A-T-I-O-N. It's a noun pronounced rehabilitation. It means the process of recovery. For example, she went through rehabilitation after her surgery. So in summary, rehabilitation is the process of recovery. The word renal, spelled R-E-N-A-L, it's an adjective pronounced renal. It means related to the kidneys. For example, the patient has renal issues. So in summary, renal means anything related to the kidneys. The word retina, R-E-T-I-N-A, is a noun. It refers to the light sensitive layer of tissue at the back of the eye. For example, the doctor examined her retina to check for any damage. The retina is crucial for vision as it converts light into neural signals. Great job remembering this word. The word rheumatoid, R-H-E-U-M-A-T-O-I-D, is an adjective. It describes something relating to or affected by rheumatoid arthritis. For instance, he was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis last year. This term is often used in medical contexts. Keep up the great work. The word rheumatology, R-H-E-U-M-A-T-O-L-O-G-Y, is a noun. It refers to the branch of medicine dealing with rheumatic diseases. For example, she decided to specialize in rheumatology after medical school. Rheumatology covers diseases involving joints, muscles, and ligaments. Excellent job learning this medical term. The word rib, R-I-B, is a noun. It signifies one of the long curved bones in the chest. For instance, he broke a rib while playing football. Ribs are essential for protecting the chest organs. You are doing fantastic. The word rigor, R-I-G-O-R, -R, is a noun. It refers to the stiffness of the body that happens after death. For example, the rigor set in a few hours after death. Rigors help forensic experts determine the time of death. Well done on mastering this term. The word risk, R-I-S-K. Risk is a noun. It means the chance of something harmful happening. For example, smoking increases your risk of heart disease. In summary, risk refers to the likelihood of facing danger or loss. The word rupture, R-U-P-T-U-R-E. Rupture is a noun. It means the act of breaking or bursting. For example, a rupture in the pipe caused the leak. So, rupture refers to something that splits open or breaks suddenly. The word saliva, S-A-L-I-V-A. Saliva is a noun. It means the liquid produced in your mouth. For example, saliva helps in the digestion of food. In short, saliva is the fluid that aids in chewing and digestion. The word saline, S-A-L-I-N-E. Saline is an adjective. It means a salt water solution. For example, the doctor cleaned the wound with saline solution. So saline refers to a mixture of salt and water used for medical purposes. The word sanitation, S-A-N-I-T-A-T-I-O-N. -T -T sanitation is a noun. It means measures to keep places clean and avoid disease. For example, proper sanitation is crucial to prevent illnesses. In summary, Sanitation refers to practices that maintain cleanliness and hygiene. The word scalpel, S-C-A-L-P-E-L, scalpel. A scalpel is a small and sharp surgical knife. The surgeon used a scalpel to make the first incision. It's used in surgery to make precise cuts. Let's recall scalpel is a small surgical knife. The word scan, S-C-A-N, scan. A scan is a medical test that takes detailed images of the inside of the body. The doctor ordered a CT scan to see what was wrong. It helps to diagnose internal issues. Remember, scan is a medical imaging test. The word scar, S-C-A-R, scar. 
A scar is a mark left on the skin after a wound has healed. He had a scar on his arm from the surgery. Scars are a natural part of the healing process. Scar, a mark on the skin after healing. The word schizophrenia, S-C-H-I-Z-O-P-H-R-E-N-I-A, schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is a severe mental disorder characterized by abnormal thoughts and perceptions. She was diagnosed with schizophrenia at an early age. It affects how a person thinks and behaves. Schizophrenia, a severe mental disorder. The word scoliosis, S-C-O-L-I-O-S-I-S, -I -I scoliosis. Scoliosis is a medical condition where the spine curves sideways. She had surgery to correct her scoliosis. It can cause pain and affect posture. Scoliosis, a sideways curvature of the spine. The word sedative, E-D-A-T-I-V-E, is a noun. It's pronounced sedative. A sedative is a drug that calms or relaxes you. Synonyms include tranquilizer or calmative. For example, the doctor prescribed a sedative to help her sleep. So remember, a sedative is a drug that calms or relaxes you. The word seizure, spelled S-E-I-Z-U-R-E, -E, is a noun. It's pronounced seizure. A seizure is a sudden attack often related to epilepsy. Synonyms include convulsion or spasm. For example, she had a seizure and was taken to the hospital. So remember, a seizure is a sudden attack often related to epilepsy. The word septic, spelled S-E-P-T-I-C, is an adjective. It's pronounced septic. Septic means infected with bacteria. Synonyms include infected or contaminated. For example, the wound became septic and needed medical attention. So remember, septic means infected with bacteria. The word serum, spelled S-E-R-U-M, is a noun. It's pronounced serum. Serum is the clear fluid part of blood. Synonyms include plasma or fluid. For example, the lab tested the blood serum for antibodies. So remember, serum is the clear fluid part of blood. The word shock, spelled S-H-O-C-K, is a noun. It's pronounced shock. Shock is a medical condition caused by a sudden drop in blood flow. Synonyms include trauma or collapse. For example, he went into shock after the accident. So remember, shock is a medical condition caused by a sudden drop in blood flow. The word side effect is a noun. Side effect is spelled I-D-E-E-F-F-E-C-T. The pronunciation is side effect. A synonym could be adverse reaction. An example sentence is, the medication may have a side effect of making you feel drowsy. A side effect is an unwanted or unexpected result due to a medication or treatment. The word sinus is a noun. Sinus is spelled S-I-N-U-S. The pronunciation is sinus. A synonym could be cavity. An example sentence is, she had a sinus infection, causing her headaches. A sinus is a cavity within a bone or other tissue, often referring to the nasal cavities. The word skin is a noun. Skin is spelled S-K-I-N. The pronunciation is skin. A synonym could be epidermis. An example sentence is, protect your skin from the sun with sunscreen. Skin is the outer protective layer of the body. The word sling is a noun. Sling is spelled S-L-I-N-G. The pronunciation is sling. A synonym could be support bandage. An example sentence is, after the injury, she wore a sling to support her arm. A sling is a supportive bandage used to secure an arm. The word solution is a noun. Solution is spelled S-O-L-U-T-I-O-N. The pronunciation is solution. A synonym could be mixture. An example sentence is, use a saline solution to clean the wound. A solution is a liquid mixture where a substance is dissolved. The word spasm is a noun. It's spelled S-P-A-S-M. It refers to an involuntary contraction of a muscle. Let's pronounce it together, spasm. Another word for spasm could be cramp. For example, he experienced a muscle spasm after running. So a spasm is a sudden, involuntary muscle contraction. The word specimen is a noun. It's spelled S-P-E-C-I-M-E-N. It refers to a small amount of something taken for testing. Let's pronounce it together, specimen. 
Another word for specimen could be sample. For example, the doctor collected a blood specimen for analysis, so a specimen is a portion taken to test or examine something. The word sphygmomanometer is a noun. It's spelled S-P-H-Y-G-M-O-A-N-O-M-E-T-E-R. It's a device used to measure blood pressure. Let's pronounce it together, sphygmomanometer. An alternative term could be blood pressure monitor. For example, the nurse used a sphygmomanometer to check his blood pressure. So a sphygmomanometer is a tool for measuring blood pressure. The word splint is a noun. It's spelled S-P-L-I-N-T. It refers to a support for immobilizing a broken bone. Let's pronounce it together. Splint. Another word for splint could be brace. For example, the paramedic applied a splint to his injured leg, so a splint is used to keep a broken bone or injured part still. The word sprain is a noun. It's spelled S-P-R-A-I-N. It refers to an injury to a ligament caused by twisting. Let's pronounce it together. Sprain. Another word for sprain could be twist. For example, she had a sprain in her ankle after the fall. So a sprain is a ligament injury from twisting or pulling. The word sputum, S-P-U-T-U-M, is a noun pronounced like this, sputum. Sputum is a mixture of saliva and mucus coughed up from the respiratory tract. You might also hear it referred to as phlegm. For example, the doctor examined the patient's sputum under a microscope. So just to recap, sputum is a mixture of saliva and mucus from the respiratory system. Great job! The word stability, S-T-A-B-I-L-I-T-Y, is a noun, pronounced as stupility. Stability refers to the state of being stable or in good condition. It's similar to words like steadiness and firmness. For example, the patient's condition has reached stability after the surgery. So remember, stability means being in a stable or good condition. Well done. The word stethoscope, S-T-E-H-O-S-C-O-P-E, -E, is a noun, pronounced like this, stethoscope. A stethoscope is a medical instrument used to listen to the heart and lungs. Think of it as a tool for doctors to hear your heartbeat and breathing. For example, the nurse used a stethoscope to listen to the patient's heart. So the stethoscope is essential for listening to the heart and lungs. Excellent work. The word stitch, S-T-I-T-C-H, is a noun pronounced as stitch. A stitch is a loop of thread used to close a wound or incision. It's similar to words like suture or seam. For instance, the doctor used a stitch to close the cut on his arm. So remember, a stitch is used to close wounds. Fantastic job! The word stomach, S-T-O-M-A-C-H, is a noun, pronounced as stum-uck. The stomach is an organ in the body where digestion occurs. It's similar to terms like belly and abdomen. For example, he felt a sharp pain in his stomach after eating. So the stomach is where digestion takes place. Wonderful work. The word strain. S-T-R-A-I-N is a noun pronounced strain. It means injury to a muscle or tendon. An example sentence is, she suffered a muscle strain while jogging. So remember, strain means an injury to the muscle or tendon. The word stress, S-T-R-E-S-S, -S, is a noun pronounced stress. It refers to mental or emotional tension. An example in a sentence, work stress can affect your health. So, stress means feeling mental or emotional strain. The word stroke, S-T-R-O-K-E, is a noun, pronounced stroke. It is a sudden attack due to blood flow issues in the brain. For instance, she was hospitalized after a stroke. So, stroke indicates a severe medical condition affecting the brain. The word suture, S-U-T-U-R-E, is a noun, pronounced suture. It means stitches used to close a wound. For example, the doctor used a suture to close the cut. So, suture refers to medical stitches. The word swelling, S-W-E-L-L-I-N-G, is a noun pronounced swelling. It refers to an abnormal enlargement of a body part. An example sentence is, ice can help reduce swelling. 
so swelling means a part of your body has enlarged abnormally. The word syringe is a noun spelled S-Y-R-I-N-G-E. It is a medical tool used to inject or withdraw fluids. A synonym for syringe is injector. For example, the nurse used a syringe to draw blood. In summary, syringe refers to a device used for injections or withdrawals in medical contexts. The word tachycardia is a noun spelled T-A-C-H-Y-C-A-R-D-I-A. It is a condition where the heart beats very fast. A synonym for tachycardia is rapid heartbeat. For example, the patient was diagnosed with tachycardia. In summary, tachycardia refers to an abnormally fast heartbeat. The word tendon is a noun spelled T-E-N-D-N. It is a strong tissue that connects muscle to bone. A synonym for tendon is sinew. For example, he injured his Achilles tendon while running. In summary, tendon refers to the tissue that connects muscles to bones. The word therapy is a noun spelled T-H-E-R-A-P-Y. It refers to treatment intended to heal or relieve a disorder. A synonym for therapy is treatment. For example, she is undergoing physical therapy for her injury. In summary, therapy means treatment used to heal or alleviate a condition. The word thoracic is an adjective spelled T-H-O-R-A-C-I-C. -I -C. It is related to the chest area of the body. A synonym for thoracic is chest related. For example, he had thoracic surgery to repair his spine. In summary, thoracic pertains to anything associated with the chest region. The word thrombosis T-H-R-O-M-B-O-S-I-S -S, is a noun. Thrombosis refers to a blood clot in the circulatory system. It's pronounced thrombos. For example, thrombosis can lead to serious health issues. Thrombosis means a blood clot. The word thyroid, T-H-Y-R-O-I-D, is a noun. The thyroid is a gland in the neck that secretes hormones. It's pronounced Y-roid. For example, the thyroid regulates metabolism. The thyroid is a crucial gland in the neck. The word tincture, T-I-N-C-T-U-R-E, is a noun. A tincture is a solution of a medicinal substance in alcohol. It's pronounced tincture. For example, the doctor prescribed a tincture of iodine. Tincture is a medicinal solution in alcohol. The word tissue, T-I-S-S-U, is a noun. Tissue refers to a group of similar cells performing a specific function. It's pronounced tissue. For example, muscle tissue helps in movement. Tissue means a group of similar cells. The word tomography, T-O-M-O-G-R-A-P-H-Y, is a noun. Tomography refers to imaging by sections using x-rays or ultrasound. It's pronounced tomography. For example, tomography is used in medical diagnostics. Tomography means imaging by sections. The word tonsil, T-O-N-S-I-L, is a noun pronounced sil. A tonsil is a small mass of lymphoid tissue located in the throat. Synonyms include adenoid. An example sentence would be, the doctor examined her tonsils. To summarize, a tonsil is a small mass of tissue in the throat. The word toxin, T-O-X-I-N, is a noun, pronounced toxin. A toxin is a poison produced by organisms. Synonyms include poison or venom. An example sentence would be, some bacteria release toxins. To summarize, a toxin is a poison produced by living organisms. The word transfusion. T-R-A-N-S-F-U-S-I-O-N is a noun, pronounced transfusion. A transfusion is the process of transferring blood from one person to another. Synonyms include blood transfer. An example sentence would be, the patient needed a blood transfusion. To summarize, a transfusion is the process of transferring blood. The word trauma, T-R-A-U-M-A, -A, is a noun, pronounced trauma. Trauma refers to severe bodily injury or emotional shock. Synonyms include injury or shock. An example sentence would be, he is recovering from the trauma of the accident. To summarize, trauma is a severe injury or shock. The word treatment, T-R-E-A-T-M-E-N-T, -E -E is a noun pronounced treatment. 
Treatment refers to the medical care given to a patient for an illness or injury. Synonyms include care or therapy. An example sentence would be, she received treatment for her infection. To summarize, treatment is the medical care given to a patient. The word tremor is spelled T-R-E-M-O-R and is a noun. The pronunciation is tremor. Some synonyms include shake and shiver. An example sentence is, she felt a tremor in her hands. A tremor is an involuntary quivering movement. The word triage is spelled T-R-I-A-G-E and is a noun. The pronunciation is triage. Some synonyms include sorting and prioritization. An example sentence is, the nurse performed triage in the emergency room. Triage is the sorting of patients according to the urgency of their need. The word tuberculosis is spelled T-U-B-E-R-C-U-L-O-S and is a noun. The pronunciation is too low, sis. Some synonyms include TB and consumption. An example sentence is, she was diagnosed with tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a serious infectious disease that affects the lungs. The word tumor is spelled T-U-M-O-R and is a noun. The pronunciation is too more. Some synonyms include growth and mass. An example sentence is, the doctor found a benign tumor in her brain. A tumor is an abnormal growth of tissue. The word tympanic is spelled T-Y-M-P-A-N-I-K and is an adjective. The pronunciation is tympac. A synonym is eardrum. An example sentence is, he had an infection in his tympanic membrane. Tympanic means related to the eardrum. The word ultrasound, spelled U-L-T-R-A-S-O-U-N-D, is a noun, pronounced U-L-T-R-U-S-O-N-D. Ultrasound is a test using sound waves to create images of the inside of the body. For example, the doctor performed an ultrasound to check the baby's health. It's commonly used during pregnancy. To summarize, an ultrasound is a medical test that uses sound waves to see inside the body. The word unconscious, spelled U-N-C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S, is an adjective, pronounced unconscious, means not awake and not aware of things. For example, the patient was unconscious after the accident. Synonyms include insensible and comatose. To summarize, if someone is unconscious, they are not awake and unaware of their surroundings. The word urinalysis, spelled U-R-I-N-A-L-Y-S-I-S, is a noun, pronounced urinalysis. It means a test of urine to check for diseases or drugs. For example, the doctor ordered a urinalysis to check for diabetes. This is a common test in medical settings. To summarize, a urinalysis is a medical test that examines urine for various conditions. The word urine, spelled U-R-I-N, E is a noun, pronounced urine. It refers to the liquid waste produced by the kidneys. For example, the nurse collected a sample of urine. This is a sample that might be tested to check for health issues. To summarize, urine is the liquid waste your body expels through the kidneys. The word urology, spelled U-R-O-O-G-Y, is a noun, pronounced urology. It refers to the medical field focusing on the urinary system. For example, he visited a specialist in urology for his kidney problems. Urology covers conditions related to the kidneys, bladder, and more. To summarize, urology is the branch of medicine that deals with the urinary system. The word vaccine is a noun. It's spelled V-A-C-C-I-E. The pronunciation is vaccine. Synonyms include immunization and inoculation. An example sentence is, the doctor recommended getting a flu vaccine. In summary, a vaccine is a substance used to stimulate the production of antibodies. The word vein is a noun. It's spelled V-I-N. The pronunciation is vein. Synonyms include blood vessel. An example sentence is, the nurse found a vein on her arm to draw blood. In summary, a vein is a blood vessel that carries blood to the heart. The word ventilation is a noun. It's spelled V-E-N-T-L-A-T-I-O-N. The pronunciation is ventilation. Synonyms include air circulation.
An example sentence is, proper ventilation is crucial in hospital rooms. In summary, ventilation refers to the movement of air in and out of the lungs. The word vertebra is a noun. It's spelled V-E-R-T-E-B-R-A. The pronunciation is vertubra. Synonyms include spine bone. An example sentence is, she fractured a vertebra in her back. In summary, a vertebra is one of the bones in the spinal column. The word virus is a noun. It's spelled V-I-R. The pronunciation is virus. Synonyms include pathogen and germ. An example sentence is, the cold virus spreads easily among people. In summary, a virus is a tiny organism that causes diseases. The word vision, V-I-S-I-O-N, is a noun. It refers to the ability to see. Let's pronounce it together, vision. A synonym for vision is eyesight. For example, you can say, she had clear vision despite the fog. To summarize, vision means the ability to see. The term vital signs, V-I-T-A-L-S-I-G-N-S, is a noun. It refers to measurements of essential body functions. Let's say it together, vital signs. Examples of vital signs include heart rate and blood pressure. For instance, the nurse checked my vital signs. In short, vital signs are measurements of essential body functions. The word vitamin, V-I-T-A-M-I-N, is a noun. It refers to a nutrient needed for good health. Let's pronounce it together, vitamin. A synonym for vitamin is supplement. For example, vitamin C is important for the immune system. So a vitamin is a nutrient needed for good health. The word vomit, V-O-M-I-T, is a verb. It means to eject stomach contents through the mouth. Let's say it together, vomit. A synonym for vomit is throw up. For instance, he felt sick and began to vomit. In essence, vomit means to eject stomach contents through the mouth. The word walker, W-A-L-K-E-R, is a noun. It refers to a frame used to assist walking. Let's say it together, walker. A synonym for walker is walking aid. For example, she uses a walker to move around the house. So, a walker is a frame used to assist walking. The word wart, spelled W-A-R-T, is a small hard growth on the skin caused by a virus. It's pronounced wart. Synonyms include growth and nodule. For example, she treated her wart with over-the-counter medicine. In summary, a wart is a growth on the skin caused by a virus. The word wheelchair, spelled W-H-E-L-C-H-A-I-R, is a chair fitted with wheels for someone who cannot walk. It's pronounced wheelchair. Synonyms include mobility chair and rolling chair. For example, the hospital provided her with a wheelchair. In summary, a wheelchair is a wheeled chair for those who cannot walk. The word wound, spelled W-O-U-N-D, is an injury to the body where the skin is cut or broken. It's pronounced wound. Synonyms include injury and cut. For example, he cleaned the wound with antiseptic. In summary, a wound is an injury where the skin is broken. The word wrist, spelled W-R-I-S-T, is the joint between the hand and the forearm. It's pronounced wrist. Synonyms include joint and carpus. For example, she wears a watch on her wrist. In summary, the wrist is the joint that connects the hand and forearm. The word X-ray, spelled X-R-A-Y, is an imaging test that uses radiation to view inside the body. It's an X-ray. Synonyms include radiograph and medical imaging. For example, the doctor ordered an X-ray of her arm. In summary, an X-ray is a test to view inside the body with radiation. The word yeast. Yeast is spelled Y-E-A-S-T and is a noun. Pronunciation. Another term for yeast is leaven. Yeast helps dough rise when baking bread. Simply put, yeast is a type of fungus used in baking and brewing. The word zygote. Zygote is spelled Z-Y-G-O-T-E and is a noun. Pronunciation zygote. Another term for zygote is fertilized egg. A zygote forms just after fertilization. In essence, a zygote is a fertilized egg cell. The word abdomen. Abdomen is spelled A-B-O-M-E-N and is a noun. Pronunciation, abdomen. 
Another word for abdomen is belly or stomach area. He felt pain in his lower abdomen. Simply put, the abdomen is the part of your body between your chest and hips. The word acne. Acne is spelled A-C-N-E and is a noun. Pronunciation, acne. Another term for acne is pimples or spots. Teenagers often struggle with acne. To summarize, acne is a skin condition causing pimples and spots. The word allergen. Allergen is spelled A-L-L-E-R-G-N and is a noun. Pronunciation, allergen. Another term for allergen is irritant. Pollen is a common allergen for many people. In essence, an allergen is a substance that can cause an allergic reaction. The word amino acid, A-M-I-O-I-O, the pronunciation is, the pronunciation is synonyms include protein building block. In a sentence, a diet rich in amino acids can benefit muscle growth. Amino acid is a building block of proteins. The word amputation, A-M-P-U-T-A-O-N, it's a noun. The pronunciation is amputation. Synonyms include surgical removal, cutting off. In a sentence, the doctor performed an amputation to save the patient's life. Amputation is the surgical removal of a limb. The word analgesia, A-N-A-L-G-E-S-I-A-A, it's a noun. The pronunciation is analgesia. Synonyms include pain relief, painkiller effect. In a sentence, the medication provided analgesia for the chronic pain. Analgesia means relief from pain. The word angina pectoris, A-N-G-I-N-A-P-E-C-T-O-R-I-S, it's a noun. The pronunciation is angina pectoris. Synonyms include chest pain, heart pain. In a sentence, the patient was diagnosed with angina pectoris. Angina pectoris means chest pain due to heart issues. The word antihistamine, A-N-T-I-H-I-S-T-A-M-I-N-E, it's a noun. The pronunciation is antihistamine. Synonyms include allergy medicine, histamine blocker. In a sentence, the doctor recommended an antihistamine for my allergies. Antihistamine is a drug that relieves allergy symptoms. The word antiviral, it's spelled A-N-T-I-V-I-R-A-L, and it is a noun. The correct pronunciation is antiviral. Synonyms include antiviral drug and antiviral agent. An example sentence is, the doctor prescribed an antiviral for the flu. An antiviral is a drug used to treat viral infections. The word aorta. It's spelled A-O-R-T-A, and it is a noun. The correct pronunciation is aorta. Synonyms include the main artery. An example sentence is, the aorta is a crucial part of the circulatory system. The aorta is the main artery carrying blood from the heart to the body. The word apathy. It's spelled A-P-A-T-H-Y, and it is a noun. The correct pronunciation is aputhi. Synonyms include indifference and lack of interest. An example sentence is, she was filled with apathy towards her studies. Apathy means a lack of interest or enthusiasm. The word appendicitis, it's spelled A-P-P-E-N-D-I-C-I-T-I-S, and it is a noun. The correct pronunciation is appendicitus. Synonyms include inflamed appendix. An example sentence is, he was rushed to the hospital with appendicitis. Appendicitis is the inflammation of the appendix. The word artery, it's spelled A-R-T-E-R-Y, and it is a noun. The correct pronunciation is artery. Synonyms include blood vessel and vein. An example sentence is, the surgeon repaired a damaged artery. An artery is a blood vessel that carries blood away from the heart. The word asepsis, A-S-E-P-S-I-S, -S -S. it's a noun, pronounced asepsis, it means the state of being free from germs. Synonyms include sterility and cleanliness. For example, the surgeon ensured asepsis before the operation. Asepsis means being free from germs. The word aspirate, A-P-I-R-A-T-E, it's a verb pronounced aspirate, it means to inhale fluid or foreign objects into the lungs. Synonyms include inhale and suck in. For example, be careful not to aspirate when drinking quickly. Aspirate means to inhale fluid or objects into the lungs. The phrase asthma attack, 
A-S-T-H-M-A-A-T-K. It's a noun, pronounced. It means a sudden worsening of asthma symptoms. Synonyms include bronchospasm and respiratory attack. For example, she had an asthma attack after running. Asthma attack means a sudden worsening of asthma symptoms. The word asymmetry, A-S-Y-M-M-E-T-R-Y. It's a noun, pronounced asymmetry. It means a lack of equality or equivalence between parts. Synonyms include imbalance and unevenness. For example, the doctor noticed an asymmetry in the patient's shoulders. Asymmetry means lack of equality between parts. The word atrium, A-T-R-I-U-M. It's a noun pronounced A-Y-T-R-I-U-M. It means an upper chamber of the heart. Synonyms include heart chamber and vestibule. For example, blood flows into the right atrium first. Atrium means an upper chamber of the heart. The word auscultate, spelled A-U-S-C-U-L-T-A-T-E. It's a verb, pronounced auscultate. It means to listen to the internal sounds of the body, usually using a stethoscope. For example, the doctor had to auscultate the patient's heart. In summary, auscultate means to listen to someone's internal body sounds. The word avulsion, spelled A-V-U-L-S-I-O-N, it's a noun, pronounced avulsion. It means the tearing away or separation of body tissue. For example, the accident caused an avulsion of the fingernail. In summary, avulsion means a tear or separation of tissue. The word axilla, spelled A-X-I-L-L-A, it's a noun, pronounced a-casilla. It is the medical term for armpit. For example, the nurse examined the patient's axilla for swelling. In summary, axilla simply means armpit. Here's a fun fact about the English language. The word alphabet comes from the Latin word alphabetum, which came from the Greek word alphabetos. Alphabetos, in turn, came from the first two letters of the Greek alphabet, alpha and beta. The word respiration, spelled R-E-S-P-I-R-A-T-I-O-N, a noun. It's a noun pronounced respiration, it means the action of breathing. For example, good respiration is essential for health. So in summary, respiration means breathing. The word resuscitation, spelled R-E-S-U-S-C-I-T-A-O-N, it's a noun, pronounced resuscitation. It means the act of reviving someone. For example, CPR is a form of resuscitation. So in summary, resuscitation is the act of reviving someone. Thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button down below. See you very soon. Bye-bye.